question 22. Okay, so this question is a question about the range of wavelengths or frequency of electromagnetic waves along the spectrum. This one requires some form of memory work. Okay, so uh, there are many ways to memorize and it's a kind of question where if you know, you know, you don't know, then you don't know. <laughs> Alright, so the important thing here is to look at the order. Okay, the number in front, uh, generally these numbers, it's not that important. What is important is the order at the back. Okay, negative 3, negative 10, negative 6, negative 5. Okay, so the first thing we could do is we could think about which one is greater and which one is smaller. Alright, the longer the wavelength, the less dangerous the wave. So uh, here, this one is less energy or less dangerous. So you are walking in a region with probably a lot of Wi-Fi. That's why you are watching this. Okay, so there's many radio wave and microwave around you. Wi-Fi operates on microwave as well. So you're okay, you're fine, you're healthy, kind of, sort of, all right? So all of these are fine. It is when we exceed the visible light range. So we go from radio wave to microwave to infrared. So if you think about the range, right, for radio wave, uh, it's a few meter. So whenever I think about radio waves, I think about few meter from 0 0.1 meter to all the way to 10 to the power of 5, like a few kilometers. Okay. Then uh, when it comes to microwave, I am going to look at somewhere along... And then these are all just ranges. If you look at a more detailed table that I've given you, um, the values are overlapping one. Okay. But anyway, we go up from microwave to infrared. Visible light is more important. So on this end of the 700 nanometer, this one is red. Okay. On the other end of the 400, this is violet. So after violet is ultraviolet, x-ray, gamma ray. So you have to kind of commit these numbers to memory. Lah. And then let's see if you committed this to memory, whether you can answer this or not, which is not possible. Okay. So this gamma ray is greater than 10 to the power of negative 12. So it's good. Okay. X-ray negative 10 is okay. All right. Uh, infrared being negative 6. Look, negative 6 uh, is already uh, close to visible light and but not really yet. Okay, so when it comes to red color, 700 nanometer, this one is 7 times 10 to the power of negative 9, negative 7. So not yet at negative 6. Okay, so this one is possible. Alright, because negative 6 is like the in-between here. Ma. So the smallest one is 7 times 10 power negative 7. Why do I need to write this? They already write for me. Hiya. Okay, 7 times 10 power negative 7. So negative 6 is still possible. Okay, and it's a bit like sometimes you see fire and then it's glowing. That glow itself is also infrared. So it's a little bit at the region where your eye can or cannot detect. It's still, it's still part of infrared. But I tell you what, it's definitely not possible. Microwave. Microwave cannot be negative 5. Okay, because microwave is closer to a uh, radio wave. So this one should be negative 10. So I'm just going to... It's wrong. This should be 10 to the negative 2, sorry. All right, so this one is D. Though. So this is one mark. You can decide to what extent is this one mark important to you and ratio your effort accordingly. That's it for questions like this. You expect one question. Now. Any way where you should need to know all these values and you're asked to arrange or identify which one is correct or which one is not correct. Like in this question, D is not correct. Okay, that's it for this question.